Facebook ads is actually a very great way to scale your business and make more money from whatever you are selling in the online space. You must have seen a couple of wonderful results of people who actually get to spend less money using Facebook ads and make a lot of profit from these particular ads that they run on this particular space. Now, what I actually want to do in this particular video is to walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how you can actually start up with Facebook ads in 2024 and get to make this very profitable for yourself. Now, many people out there have actually tried their hands on on Facebook ad or they're still wondering how exactly they would even get started with this but then my promise here is after watching this particular video you will actually understand how to get started right here and also how to scale your facebook ads to where you are able to amass a lot of profits on this particular space now sit right back and watch this particular video to the end so that you actually get all of the insights and also start learning from on here now there's going to be a part of this particular content so i'm going to be walking you through to a particular point where i'll take a pause and still create another video and then talk about a couple of other technical things that you need to do in order to still scale your profits some more with your facebook ads so take this as a facebook ads course because after watching through this series of videos you most likely will be able to run ads much more than you have ever learned in any course you've gotten before now I'm looking at my screen right here you can see i said facebook ads are by far one of the most affordable and effective way to advertise your business and to make the most of your ads and drive sales you need to learn how to use facebook ads by following the step i'm going to share with you guys right now now one of the things you actually think most likely is that facebook ad is difficult facebook ad is expensive or you think it's not for you but i'm telling you that you actually are wrong because facebook ad is not really expensive it is not difficult to actually implement and also it is for anybody and most importantly most of us actually go ahead and we are basking in the glory of oh i made one thousand dollars without running any ads it is not like it is not something to actually be talking about like it doesn't matter if you actually made a thousand dollars by not running any ads i will make ten thousand dollars applying ads to my business and scaling the major thing with any business is to scale and not by you know whether you did with ads or whether you do not do with ads <laughs> just make money right so that's just one thing now i'm going ahead this is more of like the hierarchy of facebook ads and it's very important to understand this particular hierarchy because with this you're able to have some knowledge on how your facebook ad is going to be fully set up so here we have the business manager where you are able to manage everything surrounding your facebook business the meta business basically right and you know it's it more of like oversees the overall you know scope of things when it comes to you know your business manager in meta now we actually have the ad manager this one is specifically for your ads so it helps you to manage everything concerning your ads you know and everything you need to see in that particular space right so from billing to the payment to your tracking pixelation and all of those things it manages it then the next in line here is your ad account now in the ad account we are able to create a series of ads now there are a couple of similarities between your ad account and your ad manager they are more of like two in one right and you might actually see the same features in this booth but then it still manages all of your ads in this very space now once you have another account the next step here is actually creating a campaign so the ad campaign basically is the very first step and on here you're able to choose more of like the objective of that particular campaign you're creating giving the campaign a name and at the same time choosing a couple of specifications for that particular facebook ad that you are running over five years of experience and earning over five hundred thousand dollars as a digital marketer in the online space I want to expose every of my secrets to you and give you access to everything that I know. Now, one, I'm actually doing this for my YouTube channel. Currently, I have over 20 videos inside of here right now that are all accessible to you all for free. And two, I have two other things that I can give out to you. One is you getting access to my WhatsApp community for free. Here, we actually have a series of discussions. I share all of my ideas and we actually just talk about random ways to make money on the online space. And you can access that all for free by clicking the link in the description. But secondly, guys, you can now set my membership plan for just 20,000 naira every single month and with this you're going to be able to get more here i'm going to expose to you guys and give you guys some in-depth insights into different methods and strategies on how you can scale in various areas in the online space notwithstanding whatever you're currently doing or whatever you're currently you know putting together for yourself i'll definitely show you how to make it work and how
how to also get success as quick as possible. And at the same time, you also get to access a couple of other several perks as you can see on the screen right here. And most importantly, have access to chat with me privately on a one-on-one -on -one live session where I'm going to take a deep dive into your personal business and help you structure out a particular pattern that would definitely start bringing you results and making you a lot of money in this very space. Now, all of the links right here are going to be in the description of this particular video. And you can simply use the description or the pinned comment to assess any of this. And I'll see you. Just keep on watching your video right now. Now, from your ad campaign, you're going over to the next, which is going to be called the ad set. Now, this particular ad set is where you get to choose your targeting. And on this very space, you are able to, you know, target a specific set of people based on their location, based on their own personal preferences and other factors. And this is exactly what it allows you to do. Now, when we move over to the ad level itself, the ad level takes you to where you are able to add copies for your ads and also add Add, you know the media files that you know will present that particular ad that you are currently running so I actually have a couple of ads that are running online right now but then I'm gonna show you exactly how you can actually get to set up all of this for yourself from scratch and also how to you know make it work at the end of the day now the very first thing I actually want to do is to go over to business.facebook.com now when you actually go back to business.facebook.com you can basically get an overview of you know uh, your Facebook page right here because this is the Facebook page connected to this particular you know business suit and you get to see a couple of other you know uh, menu options you have here from notification to the inboxes to the content to the planner to add inside business manager and also ads manager now since this is the meta suite let's go over to our business manager right inside of here and once you click on business manager as you can see so it takes you over to this very page where you more of like get access to a couple of lesser features here firstly you actually want to see all of the business accounts you have on here and also your account and if i'm actually looking at creating a new business account i'm just going to click on create a business account and it's going to redirect me to this particular page where I can put in my business name, my first name, my son name, my email address, and I am good to go. Okay, so once I've been able to achieve this, there are two things that basically happens, right? One thing is that you're approved and all is good and fine and you are good to go. Or after creating, you get to realize that Facebook gets to restrict your, you know, uh, your business manager account or whatever it is but then they restrict it because they need you to do a verification of which when you're able to do a verification with your id you can actually proceed now once you have this created already uh you actually would be able to access the business manager and from the business manager we actually want to get access to the ad manager now this ad manager is only where we get to you know start creating a couple of ads we actually need for the campaign that we are running in this very space and looking at my ad manager right instead of here you basically can see that it's still bare it's still very fresh and new right i have another ad account where i actually run most of my ads but this one is still fresh and new so you can actually flow with it around here now coming over here and clicking on this hamburger icon you can basically see the menu for all tools so we have the ad manager settings the business settings events manager ads reporting audiences business and support and all you can also see a couple of other functions that is a bit attached here to your ad manager okay and all of this is actually quite important in their own way because they are basically help you to get a couple of insights on you know how best you can actually run your ads and how to get the best of results but one of the major things that i'm going to really focus on is your billings and payments <laughs> because for real you're running facebook ads it requires money and to be very honest facebook itself is actually a business right and well actually, actually the same meta right now because they switch over to meta so facebook meta just understand what it is right so it's a business and basically they are expecting that you're able to you know fix your billing and payment as well and making sure that that particular area is sorted out as soon as possible okay i've actually had a few accounts that actually got fully restricted or fully blocked because they were not able to supply information for their billing and payment and they just started up running ads like that so one of the things i really would love to do is to come over here and once i'm on here I can go over to payment method and with this payment method here, you can see i've been able to add a card inside of here and the card i actually added on here is actually my you know uh providos platinum card so i actually got it from providos bank and i added it up and it's working perfectly fine but then people actually have other options of how they actually pay for their facebook ads you can actually use the pay you option on facebook ads now when you come over here you can see i have a prepaid balance here of 57,000 naira, and you can see how much i was spending daily for a couple of ads that i'm actually running on here and one of the things you actually want to do is to add your card or you actually want to click on add funds because when you click on add funds here there are a couple of options that you know facebook has added that has made it very very easy for you to add, add funds to your facebook 
Facebook ad manager. Okay, so uh, the option of debit or credit card is out of it. So you actually want to use the option of pay by bank transfer or your Naira payments with your card via PayU. And I must say that the last time I actually credited my Facebook ad account, I actually used the option of bank transfer. And all I did here was to actually put in the amount I wanted to, you know, update on my Facebook ad account. And I just went ahead to click on pay by bank transfer. And on clicking on that, I was presented with a bank account details which I made a transfer to. And automatically, it actually, you know, took the transfer once it was confirmed. And I just got the balance in my, you know, in my wallet. And that's just it, as simple as that. Now, once you've been able to achieve this on the ad manager level, the next thing you're going to be going to right now is the campaign level. Okay, and here, we actually just want to create a campaign. And once we click on create a campaign instead of here, you can actually see here it says your account overview. You need to confirm a few details before you can publish an ad. That's fine and good. I'm going to go ahead and confirm these details later. But for the purpose of this video, let us just continue. So I'm going to go ahead and say uh, buying type. I'll leave that auction. And here we have options from awareness to traffic, engagement, leads, app, promotion, and sales. Now, for several reasons, I just love to click on sales and use the conversion option because I want to fully track every of my sales and make sure that people that actually, you know, are flowing through my funnels are actually converting and able to track all through the process. Now, I'm going to click on sales and I'm going to click on continue right instead of here. And once I do that, I'll click on manual sales campaign because I want to handle everything myself here and I'm going to click on continue. Now, once I click on continue there, you can see here, you can simply rename, you know, uh, your campaign name. So, let me say... Uh, Frank add one and scrolling down all these options you can just quickly ignore ignore this ignore this as well and come here and click on next now once you click on next instead of here it's going to take you to the ad set level now remember we actually had a hierarchy of things before and this is the exact same step which i'm actually taking right now now coming over here you can basically see that on this particular side you're choosing oh where is going to be the conversion or where you're going to be driving your sales or conversions to you're driving them to your website if it's an app you choose an app if it's a uh, website and app, you choose a website and an app. If it's a messaging app, you choose it as well if it's a call. But for this, I'm actually choosing my website because my website is really where I want to actually drive all of the traffic to. Now, you want to scroll down and you actually want to select Pixel. So as a beginner, you most likely would not even have Pixel. So just ignore this for the meantime because in the next video, I'll be showing you how to actually create and install Pixels on your Facebook ad account. Now, scrolling down, you can actually ignore all of these other options. Then you come over here where you actually want to choose your budget and your schedule. Now, the very first thing here is actually choosing your budget and your schedule for your ads. And it's very important because it's basically like this is your budget. So what I basically do here is really to choose the daily budget, right? You have the option of choosing the lifetime budget, but it's okay to choose the daily budget actually. And this is basically because I don't want to have my ads truncated or like have it to have less, you know, of you know, reach because of the lifetime budget. So I leave it as daily budget and I can check this particular ad every single day and stop it when I actually feel like, oh, I've exceeded my budget at any point in time. Now I'm going to come in here and you can see by default it's saying 3980 and what I want to do here is to actually put in the select amount I want. For example, I'm running a couple of ads for like 10,000 naira per day. I'm running some for 50,000 naira per day and, you know, depending on the campaign and the product and also the outcome of that particular, you know, uh, ad campaign. But most of you guys, especially if you're a beginner, you'll be asking, okay, Franklin, how much are you going to really advise we start using? So I would really say that you can actually start out using as low as 2,000 naira, especially if you're going to be able to run your ads campaign for about a week or two. Right, so if it's going to be two weeks, which is 14 days, you actually should have like 28 to 30,000 naira for that particular ad you're running. So let's say I could just simply say to run this ad for 2,000 naira per day, okay? And you actually come in here, start date. I'm saying, okay, start date. Uh, it's going to be 20th, that is today. But for me, I'm going to just select uh, start on the next day, right, at exactly, you know, uh, 0000. zero, zero, zero. Okay, now I actually do this because I want to make sure that all of my ads are already approved before the ads start running on its own, right? So I actually don't want my ads to actually start running and then there's this time when, you know, it still needs a couple of approvals before it just kicks off, right? People actually have different opinions around this though, but this is mine. Now, when it comes to end date, I do not select any end date at all. I simply just, you know, ignore this particular side. Like I said, I don't want the ad to be short on reach because of me choosing an end date as well. Now, going down, you can see, you know, the budget scheduling by, you know, Facebook. You actually don't need this, so just cancel and, you know, move away. And uh, you want to still scroll down to this particular place where it says audience controls. 
Now, when it comes to audience controls, you actually want to start choosing, you know, your audience. And the first thing you actually have here is choosing by location. Now, what location are you going to be focused on inside of here? Now, looking right here on the location of this particular, you know, ad, you can see it's saying Nigeria. Now, if you're actually running ads and you're targeting Nigeria, to be very honest, for me, I love to target specific states in Nigeria. For example, Lagos, Abuja, Ibadan, Enugu, Imo, Were, Kano, Kaduna. I don't just want to throw it all out in Nigeria as, 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 as a country. I love to be very specific with whatever I'm targeting. So that's exactly the first thing actually you get to, you know, change here. And it also, it also depends now on, on the people you want to reach, basically. Because if your business is just in Lagos and you're doing delivery to people around Lagos itself, then basically I don't see any reason why you should actually even want to target outside of Lagos, or except you actually do delivery outside of Lagos, okay? Now, when you actually scroll down, you can actually see where it says show more options. You can actually select the age bracket of your audience and that's fine. Now scrolling down, you actually want to see the advantage audience. I'm going to totally ignore this particular aspect and I'll say switch to original audience options. And we're switching to original audience options. You can see basically here that I have the option of choosing okay, my location, my age range, my the gender I want to target and also the you know detailed targeting, demographic interest and all. Now this is exactly what I'm going to be focusing on right here because it is actually one of the most important aspects of my audience targeting. So let's take for example, I'm actually targeting bankers and I'm, I'm actually going to come in here and say, you know, banks. So we have, uh, I could be more specific and say, Axex Bank. Right, so you can see Access Bank, their employers. And once I actually have one or two, I could just click on this particular suggestion options and Facebook will automatically just help me to start populating the place with a couple of ideas very similar to the already, you know, defined audience that I'm targeting. So you can see I'm actually looking at First Bank of Nigeria, Guaranteed Trust, UBA, MTN Nigeria. All of these people basically are more of like intertwined audience and you can actually target all of them at the same time. Now, once you're done with the targeting here, I am very okay with it. You can actually choose language, most likely English, or you could just ignore and leave it at default. And you want to go ahead and choose whether you want the advantage placement or manner placements. Now, in this particular case, I just let Facebook to help me choose what placement are going to be the best for the ads I'm going to be running. And once it's able to help me choose that, I feel I'm good to go. Except in some cases where I actually want to manually place, you know, my ads myself. But when I choose manner placements, you can see a couple of options we have here. Here we have a series of platforms: Facebook audience network, Instagram Messenger. Now, this basically is the big differentiating factor because here you can actually choose to run ads and target specifically only Facebook or specifically only Instagram or just Messenger or, or the audience networks, all right? Depending on what you untick. So if, if I untick Instagram, I can untick Messenger and it goes just on Facebook or I could just check only Instagram and untick the rest and it goes just on Instagram, okay? And once you're done with this, uh, when it comes to the right-hand side here, you can see we have the audience def definition. And for the audience definition, instead of here, you can basically see that this particular, you know, definition here increases as m as much as, you know, the suggestions you have here also increases. So if I keep on adding a couple of more suggestions, it will keep on increasing and increasing and increasing. Okay. Now, in this particular case, you can see your submitted audience here, about 6,400. I love to actually expand it to as much as 20 million. Yes, I, uh, mine is just making sure that I'm able to reach as much people so that I have more potential to be able to, you know, gather as much traffic and also close more audience. The wider you go, the better because basically Facebook in turns also has its own magic. It actually plays around, you know, the select people who actually get to, you know, follow up through your funnel and also buy your product as well. Okay. And uh, we have the estimated daily result on here. This one is actually based on your budget. So we want to go over to the next page. Now on this particular next page, you actually want to put the name of the ad itself and then you want to select the Facebook page. Now you actually have to link a Facebook page to your other account. So Facebook is going to run the ad through a Facebook page, right? So you should have a Facebook page which you actually get to link into the ad account or for the ad you're running. And most importantly, if that particular Facebook page already is connected to an Instagram account, you most likely would be running an ad to that particular Instagram account if you choose Instagram as a, pl as a placement for that particular ad you're running. Now, in this particular case, you can see I already have a Facebook page and the Facebook page is linked to an Instagram account, which I have connected instead of here. So I could just run this particular ad and with running the ad, it's going to be going out there to the Facebook page and also the Instagram account based on my own choosing. Okay. 
okay now coming down you actually want to see the ad setup itself and this is where i'm going to be uploading the media file of this ad so you can see here i want to do some manual uploads and scrolling down i want to choose a single image or single video and on here you have the ability to be able to add a video now once you've been able to publish this particular advert then you actually want to wait a couple of minutes a couple of seconds and your ad is going to be approved or rejected depending on several factors but then there are a couple of guidelines that i actually want to show you which are very very important to make sure that you know those ads are 100 percent approved okay so i'm going to be sharing with you guys a couple of things right now for your own good with your facebook ad so step one you need to know your audience you need to prepare your social media accounts your facebook account or your ig account now these are things that you should actually do before you're even setting up your facebook ad itself because it basically help you prepare yourself for the ads that is actually you know coming so one of the things you actually do here as you can see my screen here is know your audience prepping your social media accounts, Facebook and Instagram as well, give value, write share testimonial, answer problem, and also riding on celebrities. At the same time, you also want to get, you know, accustomed with the Facebook ad policies so that when you stop ads, you actually do not get rejected at all. And then most importantly, you also have to do some business verifications, which you need before you can actually proceed with creating your ad account and also your ad campaign, okay? So another thing you still want to make sure you do is to make sure you are crafting your offer, make sure that you have your website intact, make sure to have your pixel well set up and also have some social proofs and also do a quick follow up when there is need to do that. Now, once you're able to to put these two steps together the step one and the step two then basically you're prepared to run a series of ads on facebook and if you're able to follow this particular step-by-step -step guide after i've actually shared with you guys in this particular video today then most probably you're able to set up your first campaign on your meta account and you're able to start you know getting a couple of results now i'm going to really say that you're not expecting to actually you know turn your one dollar into one million dollars overnight but definitely over time you'll be able to make a couple of tricks here and there which most probably would help you to start getting the best results from your facebook ads and make your business even more profitable okay so like i said i'm going to be creating more subsequent videos where i'll be sharing with you guys a couple of more insights around how we can actually scale up your facebook ads but most importantly i actually share a couple of ideas and have discussions around how to make more money in the online space in my whatsapp community and the link to that community is going to be in the description of this particular video so check the link in the description you're going to be getting access to that particular community so you can actually join us there and you can actually make the most for yourself at the same time guys if you have questions and queries or comments please do leave it in the comment section for me down below do well to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel smash the bell icon so that you do not miss any of my videos with these guys i'll be seeing you in my next video peace